speaking and I'm just a troublemaker. Now with Tenkation, um, the platform where Bunking Foundation helps young people to discover their purpose. Because a lot of people don't have that 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 support and that platform. What is your what is your what is your say concerning young Nigerians? Like as I always said, one cannot go to his grave with mm. his wallet, but the legacy you leave behind—that's what matters in life. Man. When you have this principle and you pursue it, mm. you think less about self. Mm. You think about what you can do mm. to help the other man and the neighbor. Mm. So that has been my way, you know, I carry on. Uh, a lot of people didn't know me before now. Mm. It was the airline that brought me out. But I've been always been there, I've always been there, doing some of these things I do now. Even the higher, you know, more dangerous, I've taken dangerous risks uh, you know, for the country. And so, the motivation is to serve God, ultimately, is to serve God. Because I remember praying to God in the days of the beginning, of my beginning, He said, empower me, mm. I use it to touch the lives of other people. And one mistake people make is that when you make a vow, a covenant to God, please try and fulfill it. Mm. If you don't, whatever you see, you take. Mm. So it's always been like that, and uh, that is why sometimes I might have a hundred naira and I spend eighty naira. Just <laughs> I have so much money. It's just in line with that. But you see, God will keep on bringing, mm -hmm. bringing, and I, I keep on using it to touch lives and seek unity and progress in my nation. So you know, these things are done with ease. Mm. I don't even struggle to do them. For example, your own program. I'm a good. I'm a very staunch, you know, massive admirer. Of what you do and what you need to uh, <laughs> I have blown. <laughs> I have blown. <laughs> and what you are to and um, what you are doing, the advocacy you are doing is almost like uh, uh, the kind of things that you're doing over the years. So I'm always going to YouTube to watch you, to learn from your speeches and your things. <laughs> My head do. My head do. For the youth. Yeah. Any country with the kind of population we have, which is UK, mm. if we do not take them serious, mm. then we are stoking danger for the future. Mm. So, but what you are doing uh, uh, is very motivating. And, um, Thank you. Any, uh, you need uh, the corporate world to support you, to support what you are doing in terms of financing, funding, and mm. other uh, support. Mm. And uh, that is why it is always uh, uh, willing and happy to you know, identify with you mm. because what you're doing is actually very, very exceptional. Thank you. And, and I saw that a lot of the youth there have been motivated by your activities. Thank you. And uh, you've given them hope. It's not every time you give people money to them. Yes. So there are times, words of encouragement, uh, mm. giving them hope. You've challenged people, I've seen mm. some of your uh, uh, energetic. Where you're, yes, where you are challenging people to come out from their door drop mm. and pursue success. Uh, you, know, you give them strategies. You're, very, you're giving them strategies, you're giving them most of the motivation. I watch all these things. I'm a, good, uh, I'm a big fan of you. So wow. That's how it is. Wow. You will be one of the speakers at the occasion this year. And um, the, the panel you will be sitting on is called Let the Lions Roar. One of the things that I've noticed is that we don't have a transition from the elder ones to the younger ones. So there's a gap. But you, you've done it easily by carrying young people along. So we decided to bring you, come talk to them in a panel. And some of the other people that will be speaking with you, Folusha Phillips, uh, Richard Mofedami, Joe, and Co. Just um, Audrey Zigbo to be there and just talk to us about, look, this is what I did, you know, because a lot of young people think that it's like this, instant. 
they do not uh, want to pay the price. So we want to thank you for accepting to be there, and uh, we look forward. It's a one-hour executive session. Yeah, I'll give them my story, because uh, it's a story of uh, faith in God, mm -hmm. number one. That's most important. Mm -hmm. um, the story of perseverance. Mm -hmm. uh, the story of uh, the kind of audacity. Mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, in that, uh, Willingness to mm. go. Mm. The story of ideas. Any man with that idea is as good as dead. Mm. You must have ideas, you must try to push those ideas, you must uh, seek the face of God too in everything you do in your pursuit of those ideas. Uh, there are some ideas you may have, uh, you try to um, do what I call self introspection. Mm. Ask questions to know if there are the kind of ideas you'll be able, you have the capacity to you know, you know, move with, mm. or even implementable. Mm. You might wake up today, you say you want to you know, go into the business. I saw one boy recently came here, say he wants to start manufacturing planes. Manufacturing planes? Yes. Okay. I said, why not, first of all, <laughs> try and go into aviation and start even from maintenance of planes mm. before you start manufacturing planes. That these are exclusive reserves, mm. reserves of some countries. Some countries. You, are you going to, do you know what it takes to manufacture planes? It's not a business you can get to wake up and say, in China that woke up and said they wanted to manufacture planes. They slowed they, down. They, they, ah, they put them down. The one they've done now, I've yeah. gotten their certification. Well, so, my dear, you need to. So sometimes people might have it's not every idea that yeah. is workable. Mm, mm -hmm. It's not every idea that is workable. So uh, I, I would like to tell them my story. I like to tell them my story, a story of even the ups and downs, challenges. Mm -hmm. and how do you tackle those challenges? What do you do when you face the stumbling block? Do you go smoking? Uh, mm. to get over it. Do you go taking uh, uh, drugs to get over it? No. Learn to say, God, I thank you for this thing I've pursued but failed. Mm -hmm. I know there's something out there mm -hmm. planning for me other than this. When you can do such things, one day God will show you that path that has created for you. So I'd mm -hmm. like, like to be part of uh, the education event coming up. I'd like to be a speaker there. I feel privileged to have even been invited to this. very privileged. Okay, so. No problem. I, I want to say something because I read something a while back that um, the greatest thing you do may not be maybe something you have um, achieved in terms of more financial terms, but it may just be somebody you have raised to be able to stand. Because when you raise one person, that person is able to raise so many others which are close to you. So we are very thankful. I'm really delighted that we'll be speaking at education. And I would like to ask, you're going to be saying a lot of things, sharing your story and everything. What is the one thing you would want the young ones, even if they forget every other thing? What is that one thing that you don't want them to forget that thing? Well, somehow, maybe I'm, I don't know if I'm overly religious, but one thing I, <laughs> I, I don't want them to forget is absolute trust in God. Absolute trust in God. Mm. Besides that, absolute trust in God is the fact of always being selfless, even in your small status. Try and be selfless. Mm. If you if you have if you earn one thousand naira more, there's somebody mm. who has not seen two hundred naira in one year. Try and live life of selflessness because in giving to others, in trying to help the other person, not only when you're in your name, yeah. in trying to help the other person, try to put the other person in putting yourself up. So it helps. Life of selflessness, always think of others, other than you, other than self, and God will come to your needs. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Alainayama has spoken. So the lion has rod. <laughs> See your thinking. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
25th of January. Yes, Saturday. 11, you are 11 to 12. Okay. That's your slot. Okay. I will speak then no, yourself. I'll be very, very happy to speak there. Yes. Never mind. I will, I will blow the crowd. No problem. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's good. They had some of the things they didn't know. Yeah. And uh, how they evolved. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You very much, sir. Mm. Let's take a quick picture. The lion itself, Alan Oyema of Airpeace. In case you think we need to look at the airline. Airpeace will be at Tinkation. In case you don't know, join me on the boat cruise and in Tinkation, and whether I like it or not, we're going to have a lot of it. So bend your head like this. So if you bend it like this now, you see all of us. This is how we go. Oh, shit! <laughs> hey. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Nice to see you.